Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, high poly to low poly baking uh, in Blender. So uh, this is a relatively high poly model. It's got about 20,000 tries. Um, of course, the process will be similar for anything a little higher or a little lower. Uh, so the principle is that you want to add shapes, which roughly approximate the shape of your model um, and also cover it. So what I mean by that is, uh, once I get this, oh, once I get this square into place, so I'm just going to rotate it a bit, uh, scale it down. If you do scale x twice, it's going to scale it in the local x instead of the global x. I can just scale it up here. Okay, so as you can see here, I can uh, kind of grab this face and pull it pull it out a bit. It's important that your uh, low poly model lies on top of the high poly model. So if it's not completely covering it, you can just kind of grab the faces. Now I'm just going to uh, duplicate it with Shift D and move it over to this other building, which is actually slightly shape slightly differently. Okay, that's sufficient. And then I'm just going to duplicate it one more time for the main building. And again, the closer you get it, the better, but you can still get uh, decent results even if it's not perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to combine all of these meshes, all of my low poly meshes. I'm going to call it uh, just LP building go into UV editor and these need to have their own UVs. They don't strictly need to, but it's going to, you're going to get better results. Uh, Smart UV project is usually sufficient for this kind of stuff. Uh, if you have a much more complex low poly model, it might be worth unwrapping manually. And at this point, we're almost done. Uh, we're going to need to give it a material. I'll call it uh, LP bake. And in the material, we just need a the image texture for the bake. So go to Shader Editor, um, add a new texture, image texture, and depending on uh, your level of detail, we can do 1024, 2048, I'll do 1024. I'll call this LP Bake. Okay. And now you're gonna note it should be this uh, shiny black color because there's currently, LP Bake is currently empty. Now to actually do the baking, uh, we're almost done. We just go here, uh, click on cycles. And we're gonna go on bake. And what we're gonna do is go to uh, diffuse. If you just want the color, otherwise you can add more maps. And then we're going to click color um, selected to active, this is important. So we're baking from the selected object to the active object. And I think that's pretty much everything. Now all we need to do is shift select, or sorry, control select the, uh, the high poly building mesh. It's kind of strange, uh, I've had to mess around with this, but basically this one should be this a kind of like reddish orange and this one should be this yellowish orange color uh, otherwise it's not going to work and now we can just hit bake It takes the first few percentage points, uh, takes a lot longer, and then it kind of just does everything. 
Yep, there it goes. Okay, so it finished. So let's um, move our low poly over. So this is our new low poly. As you can see, it only has 30 tries and is able to capture a lot of the texture information. Uh, where you're gonna have trouble is in shaded areas and if there's like a tree next to it, uh, sometimes it has trouble obviously getting it because it doesn't know what to do. Uh, one quick fix for that, for example, is here, if you've got a nice uh, like wall, you can take this face and you can, if it's otherwise indistinguishable, you can use another part of the wall for it. And this can help kind of repair some of those damaged textures. But overall, it captured a lot of the detail, especially of the ceiling, the top, the fan, and even the plane uh, got some detail. Uh, you can see ripping here because the um, this building wasn't covered in the original bake. Uh, so obviously that's not going to transfer correctly. But uh, that's, the, that's the process. So uh, hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you next time on Dragon.